Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a love reading, a love message for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for being here. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is the feelings of your person, how they think about you, what is their current feelings towards you. This reading for today, this is valid for the next 30 days, okay? This is a love message. This is a love reading for the Scorpio sign. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of my website. You will see the details of the products and the services that we offer. I will be reopening my private reading. So I'm going to be doing a full 2024 reading very soon. So watch out for that. I will announce it, Scorpio. So let us see the current feelings of your person, okay? This energy reading is valid for the next 30 days. So I really want you to think of your person. Think of your romantic situation. Let's tap into their energy and let's see how they think about you how they feel towards you and what is most likely their next action scorpio this is applicable for singles only okay this is for singles only what can i get for the scorpio sign thank you guys for your support thank you guys for being here let's see what is the current feelings of your person you have the five of swords the sun card the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Okay, what is the future of this connection? Is valid for the next 30 days. What's the advice, Scorpio? Oh, Two of Cups. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, all right, let's start the reading. So you're starting the reading with the Five of Swords. The person that is on your mind, Scorpio, or that is energetically in romantic frequency. There is a romantic frequency in here. Um, your person is like a smooth operator, like a smooth, like a smooth operator. It's like a, this person is very good with hiding their feelings. This person is very good with hiding their true feelings, their intention. I feel like this person, the, the, the recent, the latest frequency I could pick up with this person, it could be a Leo, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be someone younger than you. This person is very funny, Scorpio. The latest frequency I can tap into this person is that they're not what you think they are. It's not bad. Um, I don't know. I'm really picking up to try to intimidate you, Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You know, they lead you on to a feeling where they don't like you or probably they like you and they switch off. They make you feel indecisive. Okay, They make you feel that they're indecisive because they want to play a game they want to play a game because they're very insecure and they have a lot of they have a lot of unstable experience in their life that has affected them to really behave properly but one thing is for sure, Scorpio, this person is very happy. They find you perfect. They, they find being with you, it's perfect. But the moment they stop talking about you, the five of swords take over and they do a lot of manipulating mind control. But when they're with you, like this is a person, if you're talking to them, it's great. It's amazing. Most especially if you see them, if you spend time with them, it's amazing. But as soon as they disconnect with you or as soon as 
they don't talk to you, they run all sorts of things or plan to mind game you. I think this person is a good person, but not a good lover. I would say this person is very immature lover. There is something dysfunctional in the way they would like to commit. It's very irregular, Scorpio, whoever this person is. Yeah, five of wands. This person likes conflict. You know, they like conflict. They like drama. When things are okay, when things are good, they're bored. They like conflict. They like drama. And they like what they like. So they could be selfish, four of cups, where they only talk if they like the topic. More than that, they wouldn't put more effort into the discussion. So you might find yourself four of cups. You might you 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 might find yourself where okay, they're very they're very very talkative, and they slow down and they're quiet. You know, it's it's a vibe where they. It's a vibe, Scorpio, where this person is talkative, talkative, talkative. And you listen to them, you know. You listen, you connect, you listen, you connect. And then when it's your turn to share something, they're not interested. They don't want to listen. It's boring. So they have a very selfish thingy going on. So if they want to listen, they want to listen. If they don't want to listen, they don't want to listen. If they like you, they like you now. Tomorrow, it might not be that way. So there's something about that. that I'm, I'm picking up that strong, moody. But when they're in the mood, it's a ten of cups. Extreme. You know, that's why it's hard to forget. It is a very hard to forget person because you have created some... Some good times, some unforgettable times with this person. But the thing is, they're quite dysfunctional. There is a lot of unusual order or the way it's quite abnormal. You know, it's, it's extreme happy and then suddenly they're picking a fight or they would say that, you're angry, but they're acting cold. Like they would even say, oh, I'm not mad. You're mad. But actually you can feel like, no, you're mad. Because if you're not angry with me, why are you avoiding me? At some point for some of you five of ones, you even confronted this where, and it, is, is, there any, is, is everything okay? You know, because you're confused. You know, 10 of cups, happy, happy, happy times. And then they went cold. And then you ask them, is everything okay? And they just, no, I'm fine. It, it's possible also that you've argued with this person. You said, no, I'm good. But obviously, six of swords, seven of wands, there's underlying problem or issues, but they just, no, I'm cool, I'm fine. They even make you feel like you're the one who has a problem or you're the one who has a drama. But in fact, they tr they make you feel something. Like, you know, this person is mind game. They make you feel something. And when you confront them, they deny that, oh, I'm good. I'm just good. And they deny that. And you look like you're cuckoo or what? Is it just me who's being dramatic? No, your feelings is valid, Scorpio. I really, really pick up strongly that, okay, so you're telling me I'm the only one who's angry. You're not, but they do. So they've got all sorts of, Lots of mind game, lots of hot and cold mind game, and lots of indecisive energy. But they do know how to make you laugh. They do know how to turn you on. This is this person. Let's look at the six of swords, the seven of wands. Yeah, look at that. Another five of swords. Look at that. Yeah, it's... It's quite disappointing because you really get along. But when they have their mood like this, like things are like things are really great, Ten of Cups, and then they don't text, they don't call, they disappear. Like something amazing happened today and the next day they pull away, they don't text, they don't call. So it's like crazy. Like they like doing that. They they're, they're used to doing that, but
But I tell you, they're disappointed to doing that. So why, like, this person, Scorpio, is like, why do you do that? If it's going to push you away, why do you even do that? And then they chase you. So there's something cuckoo with this person. Because they, they, like, Ten of Cups, amazing, amazing. Like, it's amazing today. And then tomorrow, they disappear. And if you try to confront them, they would say, no, it's fine. And you feel dismay because why did this person deny that there's nothing wrong, but there's actually wrong because it's happy and then sad. Obviously, there's something wrong in their, you know, in their attitude, in their behavior, in, in them. If you confront them, they deny it. So it's something, something wrong with this person Scorpio insecurity self-centered I don't know but they realize that they make it complicated they they push away like they turn you on and push you away that's the vibe yeah they sad yeah the moon card they are disappointed for doing all of those um I would say they're not entirely happy with the mind game because they lost you because i feel like this queen of wands you've detached there's a part of you that okay you're confusing me this is extreme you're confusing me you're hot and cold we have something great and then you pull away your mind effing me you know and you could it's possible that you have because they're i mean who would who would stay if someone is confusing you give you a it gives you a ten of cups. Happy tomorrow, you're conflicted because they disappear. They never call back. They never text back. I think, Scorpio, at some point, you did follow up. Many, many follow up. But at some point, like, I'm a queen of wands. I'm a Scorpio. I'm done chasing you. I don't know what sort of fulfillment you would get from mind game, mind control, manipulation, ego. It, you you won't get anywhere in there. It will just lead to insecurity. It will just lead to, I don't know, life is too short. Just get on with it and be happy. They, they like twisting. I don't know, but this person is quite, it's your cup of tea, but it's very confusing. Um, the thing is, they realize that... Um, you were one of those people that was really great and you don't deserve that. And they're not happy with, they're not happy to whatever they're doing. That's stupid Cupid, yeah. Chariot card, it could be this person. It's possible that you're not talking together. Excuse me. It's possible that you're not talking together. You're not in contact together, but they never stop thinking about you. And they realize that, they're not only wasting your time, but they're also wasting their time because you had a great time. But they're manipulating ego, ego, ego. <sighs> now it's tired. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they're tired with being inconsistent, being mind game. Like when, it, when you think of people who mind game or ego, it's because they don't know how, how to express their feelings. Because this person's behavior is, okay, we're great today. Tomorrow, I won't text you. I won't call you. Let me see if you're going to chase me. That's just gonna F up everything. You know, people like, but people like to do that immature. It's, I think they, they, they've been used to that kind of attention, like to trigger attention, to trigger attention, to, to trigger, to trigger attention, to trigger validation, to create some drama. But I feel like you're very external to them now with the Queen of Wands. You also have the judgment card in here, so it's possible that you're kind of giving up or you're too far away. Um, they will, they will say sorry. This is this person in the immediate future, which is happening in the next thirty days. They will definitely say sorry, and they need to change in order to get the two of cups. This person realized that I need to change. I need to be consistent. I need to be better. Because if not, I'm going to lose my Queen of Wands. I'm going to lose my Scorpio. And they want the Two of Cups with you. Yeah, Four of Cups. The thing is, one of their greatest fear is that because it might have been long. 
you know, it, it's possible that it's been so long since the last time you hang out, you text, you call. Their fear is that you might not be interested with them. Seven of Wands, like this person is preparing. If I want my Two of Cups with Scorpio, then I better be prepared for a rejection, for a pushback, or... That's so funny. You know, this person will learn the lesson if you make them taste their own medicine. I have encountered this kind of people. The best thing to do is be the queen of wands. Ignore. Because this is so childish. This is so childish. It's very childish energy. In the immediate future, I see that I see them reaching out, saying sorry wanting a two of cups moment with you but very scared because they might get rejected very scared because you might have moved on but they're determined to try again the thing with this person is that you can critic them from for being childish but they kind of never surrender with you scorpio okay yeah they view you they watch you they stalk you they like your smile. They like your wit. They like you. They want you back. The moon card. You know what, Scorpio? This person will reach out. This person will do some quick action, quick move. And if they feel and if they confirm that they have a chance or hope or they're still welcome to connect or be part of your world, they will change. Um, they will try sincerely again. I heard the word. I hear the word clearly. They will try sincerely yours again, Scorpio. It's called the Eaters. So thank you, Scorpio. This is your reading. Don't do any more. Like This reading is basically telling you don't do any more move. Let them come. Let them behave well. It's a childish. This is a child. There's a child trap in their adult body. But they're learning. There's a change. You would see it. You would feel it. Your intuition will tell you. Because they're going to be consistent. They know their error, Scorpio. Yeah. Six of Wands. If they want you, they've got to win your heart again. It's part of the plan. So this is their current feelings. This is valid for the next 30 days, Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. You have a great day, Scorpio. Bye-bye.